PTNS to the people of 21st century Ireland, to all the people who call Ireland home, in the name of all those generations past to help show us what being Irish meant. Ireland now calls on its current generation to support her flag and vision of equality and freedom for all. The people of Ireland now ask this generation to organise itself in preparation for the task that lies ahead. Now the time is right for us to act. With the help of the community in Europe, the Irish abroad, but primarily through our own efforts, we now feel the moment has arrived to shape a new vision for Ireland which promotes the values of freedom, equality and real social justice for all the people of this land. We proclaim Ireland to be a place where everyone is equal, no matter their belief or none, race, gender or culture. We endeavour to promote and protect human rights and fundamental freedom for all the people of this land. We strongly believe that every person deserves the respect of others and we strive for a society free from discrimination. We demand greater rights for people with disabilities where they no longer need to fight for the things we take for granted but are fully supported. We believe that Ireland should be the best country in the world for children to live. We believe that children's voices should be heard and that we should have a greater say in the decisions that will impact on our future. We believe that every Irish person deserves to be happy and fulfilled and believe that society should strive for this at every turn. We believe that Ireland should be... We believe that every Irish person should wake up feeling safe, secure and comfortable in a place they can go home. This should not be a luxury at all. We call on everyone to stand up for the rights of immigrants who have come to Ireland for a better life. Just as previous generations left this island in times past in an, and in search of a better life, we expect that the current economic recovery will be used correctly to generate new opportunities for young Irish people. So they will not, no longer be forced to emigrate. We call on all the people of Ireland to continue the long held Irish tradition of supporting people in developing countries. The pupils of Belmain ETNS acknowledge the positive benefits of education provided in Educate Together schools, much like our own, where pupils feel valued and have a voice. We advocate for an inclusive primary school system where all children can experience a low pupil teacher ratio in their classrooms and be provided with the supports necessary to fulfill their full potential. We demand a better health service to address the current problems of overcrowding, long waiting lists, and unequal access to treatment. We promote healthy living and believe that all Irish people should have access to a healthy way of life, places to exercise and enjoy a favorable work We see it our duty to spread the Green School message of reduce, reuse, recycle, repair, conserve and protect. We will do all in our favour to protect this precious planet. We pledge to act fast to help slow down global warming by supporting the use of renewable energy sources in our community. Finally, we call on all the people of Ireland to protect our rich Irish culture, the Irish language, music and customs. We will stand together to pr protect our amazing country and to preserve its beauty for future generations. Signed, on behalf of the pupils of Belmain ETNS. So thank you very much guys. So that proclamation is now going to live on with us. We're going to have that displayed inside in the office there so everyone will be able to see what it meant to us and what we're going to to hope to create in the future, okay? So well done, boys and girls from the fifth class and the whole school who had a hand in making that, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to sing one of our songs and the boys and girls have worked very hard practicing these songs. So the first song we're going to sing is a song called Grace. Now just to give a little bit, a tiny bit of the story, Grace Gifford was actually the fiance of one of the leaders of the rebellion. His name was Joseph Plunkett. And the night before Joseph was to be executed, she was allowed to go into prison and they were allowed to marry. So they were allowed to spend about 15 minutes together before she had to leave and the following day obviously Joseph was obviously going to be executed. So 
This song was obviously written in their honour, okay? So it's called Grace, and the children have really performed it very well over the last few weeks. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready? Okay, so the next bit we have now is we have a couple of quotes now, a couple of quotes from the boys and girls. So if you can guys come up, and we have Fiona who's going to accompany them on the whistle. Sally Gardens, written by WB Yates. They think that they have falsified Ireland. They think that they have purchased half of us and intimidate the other half. They think that they have foreseen everything. They think that they provide against everything. But the fools, the fools, the fools. They have left us our Fenian dead, and while Ireland hold these grapes, Ireland unfree shall be never at peace. Patrick Pierce, August 1915. If you strike us down, now we shall rise again and renew the fight. You cannot conquer Ireland. You cannot extinguish the Irish passion for freedom. If our deed has not been successful, sufficient to win freedom, then our children will win it. But a better do. Project Chris 1960. With the brilliant effort and the martyrdom that followed 1916, Burnley awoke the sleeping spirit of Ireland by Michael Phelan. McDonough and McBride and Colony and Pierce. Now in time to be wherever green is worn, are changed, changed. Utterly a terrible beauty is born, William Butler Yeats. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much, Fiona. Okay, Max. Okay, what's going to happen now is myself and Jada are going to walk over to the flagpole and as we're doing that, Max is going to accompany us on the trumpet do a version of the Foggy Jew, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 
will be announced inside or at the intercom because no boys and girls are waiting for that and then we're going to have the Easter raffle at the very end and then any parents around please join us over in Jessica's room for the kushta, for the coffee with the kushta, okay, for a chat, okay good morning, good. okay boys and girls I'd ask you all to be upstanding and to stand to attention please for the national anthem Thank you all very much. <laughs> 